Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 12. Thoughts? This episode is called Hot Potato Soup. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything that came out after this episode first premiered. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, uh, quite enjoy the Koenig's references there at the very start. Several Star Wars, one Back to the Future. Quite fun. And yeah, they're attacked, but fight back. And... Let's see. Yeah, I quite like when... I, I forget which of them, but one of the Koenigs... You know, t tells Radcliffe, you're doing the Gollum thing again. And, yeah, the, the you know, we will take you apart piece by piece. Oh, this is just for vodka, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, then he talks about the old way, so he is intending to torture them. It's just that, yeah, that particular part was just because he wanted some vodka. And, yeah, he's about to, to, like, stab one of them in the eye. Yikes. When we're done reprogramming you, you're going to be singing like a canary. I understand singing, but why a bird? Why not Mick Jagger? And, like, two minutes later, he actually is, like, singing like a bird. He's, you know, making bird calls. Okay, I understand some kind of Red Dawn thing might be going on here. And, yeah, Kanye can't stop geeking out over Quake Daisy being, you know, there. And she's like, we've known each other for three years. You know, I'm still the same person. And he talks about, like, oh, there's, like, slash fake. You know, you and Black Widow. And just, yeah, that's not that he's read any of it, but you hear things, you know. And, yeah, you know, it becomes clear that Darkhold has a way to destroy the Inhumans and that's why it's so sought after right I want to briefly say so in an earlier episode it appeared that Ada was making the brain that she was making without um, Radcliffe knowing and you know by now it's clear he absolutely knew she was doing it by his order they did a very nice job with that scene because technically, like, it's not, there's nothing that directly contradicts the idea that he did, you know, the, yeah, the fact, the reveal that he did know wasn't contradicted by anything in that scene. It just, you know, it looked like, oh, she's doing this behind his back, but no, like, he told her, okay, now go make this brain, and then he sat down, got drunk, and started singing and playing a guitar, you know, it's the, the, but because of the framing, it looked like that was so, so yeah, very nicely done on that great misdirect. And yeah, Radcliffe the robot starts talking about, you know, Fitz's father and really pushing his buttons and you know it the, that thing of you know he um fits his yeah leo's father made him feel like he wasn't intelligent and so he strived to be intelligent you know yeah that kind of thing has happened you know in the real world as well and I like Radcliffe thinks that the caning they have is building a bomb to destroy the the dark. Oh no, never mind. It was just he was just assembling his Darth Vader clock. Wow. Another caning. Oh, this is the caning. I like uh, Mac referring to the LMDR as Radbot. And, yeah, there's some moments between Coulson and, and May. I really appreciate that she actually is, like, she's got the programming, but she is an actual 
individual, you know, that there's been chemistry between them, not necessarily romantic, but certainly mutual respect and that's what, you know, from the very start. And yeah, one could imagine, you know, I, I don't know if it'll happen with regular May, but the L May D, yeah, I could absolutely see that kind of thing, yeah. And yeah, they go to meet LT. And at first we think, oh, he's the, the slam poet, but LT is actually a, a woman. She's, the, I guess, the, maybe the only sister of the, and the, yeah. <laughs> and, and yeah, you know, slam poets, a lot of, a lot of Hollywood, not, not big fans of it, kind of like to, to, you know, make fun of them. I've never really understood, like, you know, they're expressing themselves in a different way than you are, but they're still, you know, at least they, they have thoughts and feelings and they're expressing them. But, yeah, not really particularly new there. And off the top of my head, um, I think it's called So I Married an Axe Murder, something along those lines. Also, yeah, makes a lot of jokes about them. And yeah, <laughs> hot potato, they passed it back and forth. Very clever and yeah, quite fun when Ada kicks some ass on the submarine. I like when Mac calls the, yeah, calls Radcliffe Tin Man. And very interesting discussion between, you know, he's like, you know, Mac says, I have a soul, you don't. And, you know, yeah, Radcliffe points out, if you don't think I'm alive, why would you, why bother turning me on before shooting me? You know, and, yeah. Uh, Fitz stops him from, from shooting and the, yeah, digs in and, and reveals the, the brain. And, you know, Radcliffe, the Radbot, slips up and says brains, plural. And Gemma realizes it must be May, who, you know, there's the, you know, yeah, increased romantic tension, maybe a kiss. And... Yeah, and the dark hold ends up in May L May D's hands, and she refuses to give it up to to Colson, even pulling a gun on him, and you know insisting, no, it's it's all real. I have all her memories and and you know desires and such, and yeah, I I quite enjoy when Daisy runs in. So May's a frickin' robot. And yeah, uh the the they do the exchange and the the Koenig that had been taken captive is returned. What did they do to you? They took my puppy. <laughs> that was yeah. And and also, you know, he's like, oh, I'm a big tough guy, you better not Is that a puppy? <laughs> That was, yeah, quite adorable. And, yeah, I will absolutely grant, for a second there, I did think, oh, the Koenigs are robots. That explains the, oh, they're just te technicians. Oh, uh, yeah, hmm, I, I knew that, of course. Yeah, yeah, just technicians. And, let's see. Yeah, at, at the very end, we see that Anton Ivanov wants to, to take out Coulson. And, yeah, Radcliffe is, of course, quite happy to help. I really appreciate, like, I was not expecting Radcliffe to, to go back to being a a villain, but it, absolute, it absolutely works, you know. 
he was never really good. He was just seemingly willing to do the right thing. Let's see. Yeah, so some IMDb trivia for the episode. Heh. <laughs> When Anton shows Radcliffe a copy of Colson's obituary, the death date is listed as May 4, 2012, the American wide release date of the Avengers. Nicely done. And let's see. When yeah, when Radcliffe LMD is acting possessed, he says some stuff in Latin, which translates to I hope that our friendship will be everlasting. It is a wise person who talks little, the die is cast. Oh yeah, this is Patton Oswalt's first return as Billy and Sam Koenig since season two. Really missed them. I'm glad they're back. I, I hope this is not the last time we see them. Sam mentioned Red Dawn, which features Clark Gregg's at the time wife Jennifer Grey, and Adrian Palicki appeared in Red Dawn with Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Have not watched either of those versions, but I d I'm not sure I'd have anything to say about them that Renegade Cut didn't do a beautiful job saying, so. Oh, right, and yeah, I just realized, that, yeah, the 1984 Red Dawn was the one that featured Jennifer Grey. The um, Adrian Palicki and Chris Hemsworth one is the 2012 one. And... <laughs> the final vault inside the labyrinth is an Excelsior 5200. Excelsior being Stanley's famous catchphrase. And let's see. I think that might be about. <laughs> yeah, I, I quite like the. Yeah, so one of the first. Yeah, very early in the episode. Agent Coulson, this is Agent Koenig. They've got Agent Koenig. I repeat, they've got Agent Koenig. That was quite a fun... Yeah. Let's see. Kidnapping a Koenig? That's like catching moonlight. We can't even find them half the time. You two will want to get acquainted. You're the last the other's gonna see alive. Yeah, well, we're ready to die. No, 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 no. I'm extremely not ready to die. The one who comes in this room next won't be me. The man who comes in here will do things to you that I can't even watch. He will break you. Yeah, well, canics don't break, all right? We're programmed to take pain, so bring it on. Bring it on. Oh my god, I'm in so much pain. I don't think I can take this. That guy hits really hard. 